we get rolling with this week's episode, a quick thank you to everyone who has pre-ordered a copy of my 2018 portfolio box set. At the time of recording this, 57 copies have already pre-sold, which is awesome. I've made enough prints so far for the first 100 or so of them. I hope to be able to ship the first 100 or so in time for Christmas. So if you guys are interested, you'll find information up there in the corner. Uh, this week's video is all about how I keep my video camera batteries charged in the field because it can be a little bit of a struggle sometimes because I have two cameras and they both are incredibly power hungry. Hope you guys enjoy. What is going on everyone? So in this week's video, I want to talk about keeping batteries charged in the field. Now for my still camera, it has no batteries. So I don't have to worry about any sort of batteries for my eight x 10 camera. Uh, my light meter uses little uh, 123 batteries, which are lithium batteries, but they're not rechargeable batteries. So I just have a bunch of those just in case they ever run out. But the main thing for me is keeping my video cameras charged. And I have two primary cameras I use. The first is the one I'm recording this with right now, which is a Sony a7S II. And pretty much everyone knows it's a battery hog. It uses these tiny little batteries right here. I'll go through about three of these a day, sometimes a little bit more, but usually three is about the average number I'll go through in each day. The other camera I use is the little Sony RX100 Mark V. It's kind of more of my backpacking camera. It too has these little itty bitty batteries. And I'll go through about three of those in a day as well if that's sort of the primary camera that I'm using. So not only do I have to have the ability to charge these batteries, but I have to kind of stay on top of charging large numbers of these batteries. Uh, all the places I go to, I drive to. It's just kind of easier for me doing that. And I drive a Toyota 4Runner. In the back of the 4Runner, there is a 110 outlet, but it's not really something I can depend on for charging because typically I'm not really driving long enough distances once I'm actually out in the field to do that. Plus I have to hit a button on the dash in order to turn on that outlet and that outlet only works when the engine runs. So it's not really super dependable because there's so many different ways I can kind of forget and then things don't quite work out right. I also have a variety of 12 volt outlets inside the 4Runner. Um, the ones that we'll use uh, this style connector right here, so the cigarette lighter type. And I also have some USBs. Um, but what I find is I need to have a way to make it really super easy for me to stay on top of keeping everything charged. And for that, this is what I do. So I have this. So this is a Goal Zero uh, Sherpa 50 battery pack. So this is, I think it's a 5200 milliamp hour battery pack. And it's got all kinds of inputs and outputs on the top right there. This right here is a key component of how I keep the batteries charged. So I keep this plugged into um, a 12 volt outlet inside the center console of my 4Runner. So this plugs right into the outlet inside the center console and it keeps this battery charged up, which is really, really nice because whether the engine is running or whether it's not running, I can always plug batteries in to get charged because they're charging off this. Um, I can plug the batteries into this and charge them as I'm driving or as I'm parked. It just makes it really easy staying on top of things. And as a result, all the ways to charge the batteries are gonna be via USB, which kind of simplifies things a little bit. I was looking around and I found this really cool charger. I found this on B&H. Uh, this is from Nightcore. It is a dual charger, which is really important since I'm burning through so many batteries. If I was charging just one battery at a time, I probably will forget at some point to put the other battery on. So this, I can put two batteries in there, charge them both at the same time. It's a great little charger. The cord is really short on it. So I did purchase a little USB extension cord. Um, but essentially that allows me to plug it in right here, just like this. And so you can see I have a battery status indicator there. And it also shows me on the screen right here how the charge is doing, which is really, really nice. So that is how I keep those batteries charged. Now for the RX100, I found these really cool chargers from Sony. So basically the battery goes inside there just like that. It has a micro USB plug right here on the side. Uh, plug that in, and now when you plug this into a USB device, you will charge that battery. And this is also what I use when I go backpacking. I plug them into a battery pack. It's a little smaller than the one I showed you, um, but it can also solar charge. So in order to charge two of these guys, I have 
the cord. It's going to plug in right there like that. Gives me the female 12 volt adapter and have a little USB adapter that plugs in there. And then I have the ability to plug in both of my chargers. So it ends up looking a little Franken charger-ish, but it gets the job done perfectly. And also I can plug in this guy at the same time. So that is how I'm able to keep all of my batteries charged up. It's super easy. It's also waiting for me right there inside the center console. Um, and also I can plug in phones and charge that sort of stuff as well. So this setup has worked really, really well for me. I definitely recommend something along these lines because I'm never gonna forget to hit that button on my 4Runner to run the outlet in the back. And also I can go out for a hike and know that my batteries are charging back in my truck as I'm out for the day. But I wanna thank everyone for watching and we'll see you around next week.